Exactly sine and cosine together in an equation. Now we have to think of trying to form them into tangent x. Now of course there are two ways. Another way you will learn later in R formula. First, you must know that tangent x is an identity is equal to sine x over cosine x. Now the question may start this way. Sine x plus 3 cos x. Uh, equals to zero. Okay, so when you see sine x and cosine x, and it, it must be equals to zero, we can form tangent. First, we bring the three cosine x to the right side. So that's why you will have negative three cosine x over here. Now you divide the cosine x over, you will get sine x over cosine x equals to negative three. That means that tangent x uh, equals to negative three. Okay, so uh, once you are here, let's choose the correct quadrant. Tangent is negative. So second quadrant and third quadrant. Basic angle is equals to inverse tangent 3. Remember never to inverse a negative number because we are looking for the basic angle. Now you take out your calculator, you key in tangent inverse 3 and you have 71.6, 71.6. So that's the basic angle. X is in the second quadrant, so 180 minus 71.6 and 360 minus 71.6 and you will have your two answers okay over here all right the next skill is what happens if you see an equation when there is 2x here okay the first thing you need to do is to change the range to suit your angle okay so you can see that i say that oh let's change this to 2x and hence it is 720 degree okay we need to keep on adding 360 Okay, because one period of a sine graph is 360. From here, straight away, basic angle equals to inverse sine 0 0.5, and that it will give you 30 degree. Okay, it is in the first quadrant and second quadrant. So 2x, now why we start with 2x? Because 2x is the angle that is here. First quadrant, 30 degree. Second quadrant, if you're fast enough, uh, it is 150 degree because it's 180 minus 30 degree. Now, because the right bound is 720, we, we need to keep on adding 360 to the first value. 360 plus 30 degree, comma 150 plus 360 degree. Keep on adding 360. Usually for 2x, right, there, there will be four answers. Okay? Fine. Don't have to find out the answers, just immediately use your calculator. 30 divided by 2, 15 degree. 150 divided by 2, 75 degree. Then now you take out your calculator, 360 plus 30 equal how much? Ah, divide by 2. Don't have to find out the answer first. Immediately, you know, you, know, you get your answer at the end. 150, okay? 150 plus 360, then divide. Okay, we have to equal first, then divide by 2, and then that's equals to 225 degree. Okay, if you want to understand the graphical representation, that's because when we draw sine 2x, okay, if you know your graph very well, this means that there is going to be two cycle. The one cycle is 180, two cycle in 360. Okay, if you draw a line here, then you will realize there's four solutions. One, two three four so that's why uh, if x is from 0 to 360 there will be two solution okay so you always edit your range if the angle is weird then we keep on adding 360 until it fulfills the range okay if you keep if you add another 360 to here right it will be outside of the range so that's why that's you stop at the fourth answer okay next uh, this is a super tricky okay what happens if your second answer is out of range, okay? We can also subtract 360 or 2 pi, okay? In this case, second x minus 1.5 is equals to 4 over root 3, okay? This means that 1 over cosine x minus 1.5 is equals to 4 over root 3. Cosine x minus 1.5 is equals to root 3 over 4. Same thing, this is in the first quadrant and the fourth quadrant. Basic angle equals to inverse cosine root 3 over 4. And that will be equals to, so remember to change your calculator to the correct mode. Uh, in the exam, if your calculator is like in the wrong mode, then the whole thing will be wrong. There will be no error carry forward. Okay, cosine inverse root 3 over 4. Okay, close.
this is going to be 1.122 1 0.12 is actually enough already all right then because the angle is x minus 1.5 remember to write this is equals to first quadrant 1.12 fourth quadrant 2 pi minus 1.12 okay now the first thing is at the start we should have edited this range to become by minus 1.5 for both sides so that your angle is x minus 1.5 2 pi minus 1.5 okay so if you use your calculator 2 pi minus 1.5 is going to be 4.78 okay this is 4.78 okay you realize that for this one this angle here is called 2 2 pi okay minus 1.12 and that is going to be 5.16 okay 5.16 first you have to know that oh if something minus away 1.5 versus something minus away 1.12 this guy will be bigger okay so this one is out of range out if you are out of the right bound okay we cannot add 360 anymore so we have to minus 2 pi okay why we minus 2 pi later you will realize that this x minus 1 the minus 1.5 will compensate over okay will actually compensate over right now what is this this is negative 1.12 does it fit the range yes it is inside the range okay because the left bound is called negative 1.5 now your angle is negative 1.12 so your last step would be or oh, x is equals to 1.12 plus i purposely write this down i will have used calculator okay to just calculate everything comma negative 1.12 plus 1.5 okay and that's how you get both answer 1.12 plus 1.5 equals to 2.62 and then the other one will be negative so you realize even at now at this moment when you're your angle is negative it doesn't matter because later the 1.5 comes over to compensate it will become uh, 0 0.38 and these are your two answers okay so over at this part you learn that you can either add 360 okay if you see 2x 3x 4x you have to keep on adding 360 okay and usually when do we minus 360 is when you see the angle is x minus something or 2x minus something you will realize that oh okay you need to have some neck that some of the negative angles at the start can work so that later when your negative 1.5 comes over it will make the whole thing positive